This is Melbourne Tonight with Luke Grant on MTR 1377. It is 13 to 9 on Melbourne Tonight. 131873 is our open line number. Now, as you know, we've uh, been talking a little about the strength of retail or perhaps a weakness right now and where Australians might be doing their shopping online or in shops. And if they're not doing it, what happens then? Is it the fact that just the mining industry is doing it well so places in western australia and other parts of australia where there's a strong mining presence they're doing well and the rest of us aren't i wanted to talk about what is going on particularly in the area of retail and online retailing roslyn cogan is the founder and ceo of cogan.com.au and he joins us on melbourne tonight roslyn good to talk to you mate how you going good thanks luke yourself extra well thank you extra well yeah How are things, mate, from the point of view of an online... uh, We should just uh, let people know. You and I have had a chat before, and I've said this before. I uh, stumbled across uh, kogan.com.au a few years ago. I bought a TV online. You've been on a current affair, and today, tonight, you get uh, high-quality components and uh, put them together here, I think. Is that right? Or somewhere, and then they become affordable affordable products? Yep, thanks for the plug, mate. Thanks me from doing it. That's, that's uh, all right. Well, they remember that because if you try and sneak one into the back end, I'll be across you. <laughs> that's, yeah. Well, yeah, that, that's pretty much spot on. We're a manufacturer direct to the consumer. So manufacturing all our own technology in uh, Asia and then selling it direct online to consumers in Australia. And we recently expanded to the UK as well. Fantastic. So I'm assuming then business for you is pretty good. Yeah, definitely. We're uh, going from strength to strength, so growing month on month, and we're experiencing huge exponential growth at the moment. And a big part of that is more and more people turning online and people becoming more frugal than ever in terms of how they shop and spend their money. So people aren't just going into shops and relying on salespeople to try and convince them to buy a product. They're doing Google searches, price comparisons, and then making educated purchase decisions. So yep. what, we're, what we're seeing in the retail landscape is that very clearly uh, those, those brands and retailers that compete on price, online is the clear winner. So the next, I think, phase that we're going to see is just a matter of uh, if you're a bricks-and-mortar store, they have to try and show, well, our value add isn't price. There's, I, there's something extra that we can offer consumers because in the price game, no one can beat online. You know what, mate? That is spot on. I I mean, there are in Melbourne so many stores that have on their front window 70% up or up, up to 80% up and off and you think, gosh, they must nearly be giving it away. But you go in there and very often I have found what is 70 or 80% off is rubbish. and exactly. and and, it, and that tarnishes, in my mind, that tarnishes that store I, I probably am now more unlikely to go back there than I, I would have been had they not done that certainly and what does 70 or 80 percent off mean well if it's a legitimate saving it means no one was willing to buy at the prices you were selling for no one discounts something that's selling out you yeah. only discount something when it's not selling hmm. so um You know, it's a very clear sign of what's happening in the retail landscape. But there are stores that are legitimately existing and providing value to consumers. Like there's a tennis store in Melbourne that's got a tennis court at the back. They have tennis pros there. You can go have a hit. You can try the different rackets. And I'll buy my tennis racket from there because I get to trial several and they've got professionals advising you even though I can get it for half the price on the internet. So Mm. the stores that have just enjoyed these really fat margins and, um, you know, relying on the fact that someone's in the store and can't really shop around Mm. uh, can't exist anymore. So they need to find clear ways to add value. Yeah. So how does, I mean, you think of a TV, I I, I imagine that in a perfect world like your store, the tennis court out the back, you go in there and, is surround sound and a lounge and a whole wall of screens, but you're you're beating that you're beating that on price to compete with you. If I was selling similar products, do I have to do the the tennis court thing? What I guess I'm saying, where does Harvey Norman go now? You're around. Well, um, the thing is, we're not just winning on price, and with technology and electronic products, you pretty much can't compete with a 
bricks and mortar store anymore because what happens is say you walk into a Harvey Norman or a JB Hi-Fi and they've got 30 different TVs on display. Yep. The truth is you're not an expert at being able to test the features and usability and remote control and every menu on those TVs. Yeah. Whereas you go along, you do a Google search, and you can very quickly compare reviews of different models by experts and um, you know technology publications and reviewers yep. and things like that. Yep. People that have actually had that product for a week or two weeks and you know given it a full test rather than what you can in a store. And then bottom line is it becomes a price game hmm. because you can very quickly see online what's good and what's not and then see who's selling it cheaper. So um, you walk into some of these stores and you have the same guy that sells you a TV trying to sell you a microwave and a bed and a toaster. And they can't be an expert at each one of those. So when it comes to electronics, it, it really is... Um, you know, moving online. It's where people do their research. Yeah. Now, you told me at the start of this chat that things are going great for you. Uh, even though they are, do you sense that Australians are doing it tough? Um, not really from where we sit. So, you know, retailers are reporting, you know, downturns in um, what, you know, takings and things like that but from every online retailer you're just seeing more and more shopping so people are spending money i just think they're spending it in a much smarter way yeah and you know the trends are everything's going online and manufacturers will soon start selling direct online logitech just started doing it a few days ago and soon even products like your sony's and samsung's won't be sold through the retailers it'll just be all direct hmm. and the consumer's the ultimate winner so they're still spending money but they're just looking for a better deal so we're better we're, we're, we're smarter than what we want once were perhaps Definitely, because we've got all the information we need at our fingertips. And, mm. you know, someone's not going to pay $2,000 for something that they can do a quick search and see they can get for $1,200. Mate, did you, without peeing in your pocket, did you see this coming? Or why did you set up what you've set up that's done so well? I, I've been saying this is all happening for the last five years. And, right. you know, I've had a few people tell me along the way that I'm crazy, but they're the people that are now knocking on the door saying, mate, I think you were right. All right, next time you have a smart idea, remember my number, will you? Yeah, I'll, I'll flick you an email. I'll send you an SMS. <laughs> Thanks, Russell. Good to talk to you again, mate. Thanks very much Thanks. indeed for your time. Good chat. Kogan.com.au. Have a look. Uh, uh, I think that's just probably a, a, a great model. Uh, well, it seems to be. He's uh, in all those you know, most successful lists you see around the world, so he's doing pretty well, Rosalind Kogan.